welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday and I've been designing so much today. I've got a little um, to-do list like pad get it done and I wrote this for like, the whole week and I've crossed off four things so I'm really pleased. Um, I did do some designing yesterday um, but most of it was today. This evening I've been doing some oops bags. It is like eight o'clock and I'm gonna restock some scripts in a minute but I wanted to begin the vlog before I start cutting and it gets too noisy. So it is my birthday this week, it's on Sunday and I'm gonna do a little event in the shop. I'm not gonna run like a big sale, um, you'll find out why soon <laughs> but um, I'm just doing like um, a sale on the last chance section. So the last chance section has like kits that are discontinuing, so stuff that's getting a bit old, seasonally, or just old because it's been released a long time. Um, and normally it is, is it 25% off? Yeah, so it's normally 25% off um, and you can find it on the menu bar at the top of the website. It's on the very far right. Um, so I think I'm gonna make it, uh, I don't know, like maybe 35% off. I was gonna do, 28 because I'm turning 28 but that, that's literally 3% difference so it's not very celebratory so I'm gonna probably do 30 or 35% something like that um, and double points so if you are watching this when the vlog goes live that will be like going on now I'll probably do it Friday to Sunday um, so go and check that out if you want a bargain so one of my jobs this week is going to be to update the last chance section because there's quite a lot of stuff that needs to be added to it that is old but is not discounted yet so I'm gonna be doing that one day this week and then I'm hoping to do like a big chunk of that advent this week I wanted to do loads of it last week and I did like well, I did two days worth so like I'm chipping away at it but I wanted to get more done so that's gonna be this week's focus which unfortunately I can't show you so I have no idea what's gonna be in the vlog um, but I'll have like orders to pack and stuff like that so yeah that is this week in a nutshell First time I've actually gone anywhere and I've remembered to bring my like little tripod for my phone. Is anyone else like so much shorter than their partner and <laughs> they have to go through this every time? Same for him though because I leave the seat really high. <laughs> I'm going to Costa to meet Sarah Monday and Sunday for a coffee. It's been a while since I've caught up with her so that will be nice. Didn't really vlog much yesterday but I did some cutting, I cut some doodles from last week, some scripts to restock again and that was all I did, Tom cut new releases. So I'm gonna do new release photos today. I need to sort the last chance section, like I said, for the birthday sale. So quite a lot of admin stuff today. I did a lot of designing in the week, so that's good. I'm quite glad I'm not doing a big birthday sale because with like prepping for advent and stuff, I feel like it would be a bit overwhelming. So I think I've done the right thing and then hopefully get advent out of the way 
this week next week i'm gonna leave so i don't end up being late but i'll chat to you in a bit So this is my process for putting listings together. I split my screen between Shopify and Etsy and I add the photos to each and on Shopify I schedule my listing to go live at midday on Friday. I then go and change the SKUs, so this has four different SKUs because it's four different add-ons and I reset all of the quantities to 20. And then to make it easy for the customer to like tell the difference, I select an image for each variant. So when they choose, say the washi variant, variant, very <laughs> with the washi variant, it shows the washi picture, so they know for sure which one they're getting. And then on Etsy, I do the same thing. I drag the photo in. I have to change the SKUs so that they sync up with the Shopify SKUs. This is what allows me to sync my stock. So when someone buys something on Etsy, it also reduces the inventory count on Shopify and vice versa. I have not shown you the new releases properly so this week we have the re-release of a September 2021 mystery this was called a bonfire but I did change the colours a little bit this time so it's got like a neutrally kind of taupey brown colour and I think I did a green and a red and it's more of an orange this time but I really like the more neutral colours and I don't know if I'm going to use this for bonfire night this year because I don't think I used it last year so I might do that. I have got a bonfire night kit already though, the Guy Fawkes one. So we'll see how I feel, but that is a bonfire. And then secondly, there is Creepmas. This is so cool. This is like a spooky Christmas kit. Kittenish Girl Jess Art, and I love the colors like the pastels and then you've got the black. So really love that as well. And then there are some scripts. I think almost all of these are requests. Um, we've got Drink Water, Anxious, Analytics, YouTube Binge and YouTube, Vitamins, To Do, Took a Shower, and oh, Made the Bed, and Nursery. And the eagle eyed of you might realise that these scoos are not the scoos <laughs> that like should come chronologically i release like i'm into the hundreds now but i found like a chunk of like eight or nine doodles that i did not release so these are those like missing doodles that were designed a long time ago so they finally made it to the shop
I made sure the lash tan section was up to date. So I did like all of the old like spring and most of the summer kits uh, from this year. And I've also discontinued um, like all the pink doodles. So the ones where they have like the brown line and they're kind of like a pinky tone because I'm planning to re-release these in multicolour. Which is a bit of a long job because I only do eight doodles every two or three weeks because I alternate the scripts and journaling kits. But we are getting there, but I think to clear out the pink ones is a good idea so that I've got the dividers and the skews free for when I actually redo them. So that is all set up, ready to go. I scheduled a newsletter, well, not a newsletter, but just like a, there's a sale letter. Um, so that's already done my scheduling for like Instagram and Facebook and the sale, I could schedule the sale. So everything's done, which is good because I have a dentist appointment, like not an emergency one, but they managed to get me in. I, I rang yesterday and they booked me in for today. I've got like a pain in my like top and bottom on the right. Um, I'll put a timestamp if you don't want to listen to me talk about the dentist because I know it's not a great topic for some people. Um, but I've got a pain here and here. So the same side at the same place, but on the top and the bottom and it happens in the evenings only. Um, so I just wanted to get checked out like early on. It's only started this week. I think it may be like clenching my jaw or grinding my teeth. But if it is anything more sinister, like I just want to get it dealt with. So my appointment is at 11.10, I think, or 11.05. Like basically if it runs late, it's going to mess with the sale. <laughs> so I had to take it though because I didn't want to wait like God knows how long. So hopefully that goes fine. But I am a bit nervous, not going to lie. Don't enjoy the dentist, but dealing with it now is so much better than dealing with it like way down the line. So that's why we're gonna do that. So I'm back and it was fine. It's my wisdom tooth is just like playing up a little bit. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. I do have a regular scheduled checkup next month anyway. Um, so yeah, nothing really bad, which is the main thing. The sale has been going on now for almost five hours. I'm really pleased with how the sale is going. I didn't expect it to be this busy, so thank you so much if you have placed an order. I did notice a few people are searching Advent on the website, so I'll try and put a little bit of information here. Um, it's going to be pretty much the same kind of setup as last year. It will be available towards the end of October, and it, I don't want it to be a pre-order, so it will just be when it's available, it's available, and it will be shipping then. The difference this time is I'm going to let you choose if you want mini or standard vertical kit um, as your, like, Advent event format I guess so that does mean we are going to be stocking like a set quantity of each and also in premium and removable mat but I will base my like quantity estimations on the split of the mystery because that's kind of indicative of how many I expect to sell in each type. Looking at the calendar I assume it will be like the 21st of October um don't take that as like the date but I think that's going to be the date so I'm pretty sure that will be when they'll be available. And then price wise I haven't like properly calculated it yet but it will be roughly along the same lines as last year. So last year was £50 for the removable mat and £60 for the premium mat so expect it to be like that kind of price. It will also depend on the kit size but I'll let you know the information as soon as I have worked it out. I'm going to sign off here. Tonight we're going for a meal uh, with my parents so that would be nice. I'm hoping we can go to Nando's because that is like my restaurant of choice. It's always really quite busy, the ones local to me, but they've opened a new one about about a year ago to be fair so I'm hoping we might be able to get a table at one of them now because it's kind of like spreading the load of customers between two restaurants instead of one so fingers crossed we get to go to Nando's I'm very excited um but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already um but yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one bye